All right, welcome to this analysis video of Busquets' play. You guys really enjoyed when I said this how to study soccer and I analyzed Janschka from uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach as a right back. So today I'm just going to analyze Busquets, number five, on Bar Barcelona in the center of the field today. So hopefully you guys can get some center mid aspects, some training stuff. Again, I don't play center mid. I'm just a professional soccer player that plays right back. I played forward, winger. So um, take that with a grain of salt. As always, uh, this is just an example of how to analyze your games and maybe give you some pointers and stuff that you can kind of get from this. So let's get started. Kickoff, Busquets is right here. He's going to receive the ball, and immediately he's looking over to the right side of the field, maybe for the long ball here, but he decides against it, decides to keep possession, and plays it right to his uh, right back. And now watch, just watch his positioning. He's right here. He's following. He's kind of tracking the ball. And then as Umtiti comes up, watch, he's back now as a center back almost, just in case for that counterattack. He's coming back in the center, and he's really just kind of staying in the center, available. And now he's going to get the ball bounced up to him, and immediately watch how busy it is and how many people are over on that right side of the field. So without hesitation, he one-touches it over to his left mid. Then uh, on this play, watch, he's guarding here, he's guarding here, and then you'll see the moment he looks over his shoulder, realizes this guy is too far back, Pass him on to his center back almost instantly just to occupy that space. Just a little bit of help defense. Now this is something that you'll see center mids do a lot. Watch. As this ball goes into the forward, watch Busquets almost come underneath him in a pocket of space to receive that drop pass from that holding forward. And now he has the ball facing the field and can switch the point of attack and look forward. Now same exact thing from Busquets again. Watch. It's going to go out wide and it's going to go into the forward and he's already moving to get in that pocket of space beneath him. Receives the ball and now can turn and attack and face the field. And now I thought he was gonna hit a long ball all the way over here, but he instead does something that only Busquets I think can do and plays it into Messi here and threads the needle. Now watch as this ball's bouncing around, it's cleared out right here. Busquets checks his shoulder really quickly and he already knows that, that defender is on his back so he can head it out wide and not bring it down, trap it, and then probably get tackled. Now, if you were to take away one thing from Busquets' game, I think it's this. And it's this ability that he always finds like a pocket of space. And watch. So right here, he's in between one, two, three defenders. He's like in the center, the epicenter of a triangle. And you'll see this happen again and again and again. And just watch and learn if you're playing center mid about how good at this Busquets is. So let's go into this play and watch how much time and space he gets because of his positioning. So he gets the ball, and as the ball is played, now he has tons of time to be able to receive it and then one touch to the other defender. And watch, even now, in the center of that triangle. Now, watch Busquets predict this. So he's walking to the left, and right here he stops because he knows this ball is about to be played in, and everybody's moving to the left. So he has lots of time and space so he can receive the ball, turn, and now play to the other side. It's just little things like that, how he creates space for himself. He's doing opposite of what everybody else is doing. and moving into those pockets of space constantly. Okay, I just want you to watch Busquets' movement right here and notice this very small thing. So watch, as that ball comes into this guy, instead of Busquets running at him very fast and just trying to defend him, he backs up to almost predict like he's going to hit that first time to this guy right here to intercept that pass. Very, very cool and just a very veteran play. Now, on this play, I just want you to notice Busquets' movement in general. He's always creating a passing lane. Him and the goalie right there. As the ball goes out to that right center back, now there's a passing lane between him and that right center back. As it goes in that right back, now there's a passing lane between him and that right back. As it's cut back and play the center back, he moves. To, there's a passing lane between him and that center back. Again, now it goes to the goalie, and he's checking to create a better passing opportunity for that goalie to pass to him and immediately notices pressure, plays it out to the center back. There, he's always moving to create these passing lanes. Even watch right here, he stops to create a passing lane for that outside center back. Constantly in a position to receive the ball and create opportunities for his team. Now here he doesn't even get the ball, but again, same concept as before. Watch his movement to create a passing lane. So as it kind of gets closed down here, he's shifting to his right to keep that passing lane between him and Iniesta, I think. So just constantly great off-ball movement from Busquets, something that all centered, defensive center mids can learn from, definitely. And now here becomes the triangle like thing that you'll always see, always in the center of the triangle, always so that he can get the ball and have more time and space to turn 
and decide what he wants to do with the ball. There's not a guy breathing down his neck because he's always finding that pocket of space all the time. It's amazing. And I mean, it's, it's very hard and very, or I mean, it's very easy to take that for granted because even look right now, in the center of that triangle so he can receive the ball with a little bit more time and space. In that center of the triangle, he's just always moving, checking his shoulder, positioning himself. So if he were to receive that ball, he'd have enough time to pick his head up and find where he needs to go next. Very cool and something that everybody can learn from. Okay, now watch. He's just kind of helping defense right now. And watch as he shifts to his left right there to block that pass to this guy right here. And as soon as that ball goes over his head, watch as he backs up as it goes into Rakitic to create a little bit of space so now he can receive the ball and play out of it. And he shows some class there with that pullback drag move. But nonetheless, his off-ball movement is just world-class. And that's why he's a world-class soccer player, given those technical skills as well. Anyway, he gets the ball here. He turns. He has lots of time and space. He picks his head up. But as you can see, there's no clear-cut option, I at least think. Plays out to his right back, plays a simple pass just so the team can get the ball moving. And then watch this. This is a kind of cool thing from Busquets. Busquets looks over his shoulder right here, and then he basically tells his center back, hit that long ball over me. Just a little communication. You can see his like soccer IQ right here. Kind of cool. On this play, I just kind of want you to notice just him kind of predicting where that open space is going to be. So you can see him already turning as that ball's played to him. He's recognizing that Iniesta is probably gonna to play to him. He's recognizing there's a guy to his left and to his right, and the space is behind him, and he just executes that very simply, but very professionally. Okay, on this play, just watch. So as that ball goes into the forward, he's splitting between these two defenders, gets the ball, immediately recognizes it's too tight, and does an amazing pinpoint switch over to the other side of the field. Again, world-class, this is why he's at. Barcelona playing where he's at. So anyway, that's pretty much the video. I just wanted to analyze 15 minutes of this game just because I could go so in depth and if I analyzed the entire game, it'd be a two hour long video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, this is just like a first or second video in the series. I'm gonna analyze left backs, center backs, right wingers, left wingers, central mids, attacking center mids, forwards. I can even try goalie. I might be able to get a goalie. But I just want you to kind of like pick up some tips and tricks on how to analyze these games for yourself. That's my goal with this series. So if you like it, give a thumbs up. And if this is your first time on the channel, subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one.